there was a storm last night and I didn't think it was that bad. There was a lot of lightning and stuff, but I didn't think it was that bad until we woke up this morning and found ourselves without power. And I'm gonna get some water out of our well to filter in our Alexa Pure as well as use for like the bathroom and stuff like that, which we do have an outhouse, but right now we'll make do with the indoor bathroom. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. Well, the power came on. It was on for a few hours, so while they were getting uh, the house jacked up and stuff, I was doing some other chores. And then the power went off, flicked off a few times on and off. Probably been off for what, about 30 minutes, maybe yeah. 45 minutes? Uh, we might have to run to the store to get some more supplies. But in the meantime, since I am not able to do, to finish laundry and stuff like that, and I will not be washing the laundry in the creek in a wash tub like we did in the tent. Nope. I will wait till the electric comes on. Um, I'll just be knitting. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. I'm gonna spray you with whatever that is. <laughs> uh, apparently it's fabuloso, and that describes me anyway, so. And then there's that. And then there's this. That's a mess. And then there's that. Back there, that's a mess. Okay, so let me just start at the bedroom, and then we'll just kind of figure this out as we go. Okay. How many feet is that little stone pillar? What do you mean? This center, uh, beam. Um, Six feet. How many feet is the pillar that's already there? Yeah, it's a little lot. So it's more than five feet. There. No, I don't know. Well, that's the part that's low. It's it's weird because the, at the the beam, beam, at the beam, it's technically to the center of the joist. Is lower than the beam is now. Okay, so. But if you can put your new pillar, uh huh, you know, just to this side of that, you should be right on the other side of the door. Well, right I'm there. thinking I would want to do it in the center of the joist, right? You're gonna go across two of them, right? Yeah. But I'm saying the distance from the front of the house to the center of the house, I want to split that difference, don't I? Yeah, pretty. I mean, it ain't got to be exact, but pretty close, yeah. Okay, then that's what I'll do, yeah. The only problem is, is like, I would have to put the jack in a location that's too close to the center beam where it's not really going to lift the joist, oh, okay. you know? Yeah. So that's why I was like, well, I'll put the, I'll just put the jack kind of as close as I can to the, the pillar that's already there, just to help. Now, I guess the real issues are going to be... I need to have like a jacking um, piece that spans two joists too, don't I? Well, I thought you were going to use both jacks. Well, yeah, I am, but won't I want to do that too, though? Because I want this to tr cover three joists oh, well, well, at the end of it, you know what I mean? So I think that's what I I'll do. I'm just going to cross two and put the pillar in the middle. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go three because this will cover three. Barely, that's not, that's probably not safe. Put 
Because I would, if I'm thinking about it, this is going to want to go up. What's the fast goal? Wow. Hm. These two by sixes are so soft, it's just pushing through. Oh, wow, it's like dead right there. Let me try something. This might be a little bit weird, but if it works, it's not matters. So if I put this floor to floor post to cover the entire span of this rotten piece, you think it might be more plausible? Uh -huh. Huh? Uh -huh. Oh, I thought you said, well, no. So I'm just gonna perfect. So that's in there really good now. It's getting there. You're almost inside the line. How far is it from the actual end of the wall? Quarter inch. Quarter inch? That's a lot better than what it was before. It was like an inch and a half before. Oh yeah. When we started it. Yeah, yeah. Show us how high much higher it needs to go. That. So it's like a half inch. And that. And then I started recording already. And then if you want his phone. The more exciting part's really up there, isn't it? Look at that. Well, you don't put a thin one in. Just enough to protect your beams all you need. Yeah. That one right there. This block it gets pushed down in the front here towards me and then the back side stays up so it puts the jack at an angle. Can you see the unevenness right there? Oh crap. So you see how it's touching on the left but side? Is that board twisted that much back there? No, no, no. See how it's touching on the left side, but not on the right yeah, side yeah. of the camera? So that just shows you I need to go up at least that much to make that sit flush. So it's almost as if, like, okay. this was the outside of the house at one time. And then this was added, the kitchen was added later. I mean, yeah, the floor joists are not in great condition, but it's not surprising considering how old the house is. So. You either do what you can to get by, because is it really worth the the full effort, or do you do it all the 100% correct way? Because the 100% correct way, well, the 100% correct way would be you tear everything out <laughs> and you start over. You're not trying to cut corners in the sense of being lazy. There's just this house is really old it's and just, it's really bad off. Yeah, well, it's not really bad off, but it's not great either. So it's like, 
the semi-correct way would be take the joists that are there, get new, you know, two by eights, go beside the old ones and add those in. You know, leave the old, don't take them out, just add new beside. Yeah. But it's really tight under there and it's just not, it's difficult without tearing the whole floor up. I got you. Um, you have anything to dry this off? Oh, fire. 